I've been thinking about some of the types of characters you're going to run into your meetings. You'll be familiar with them. Tammy Tantrum gets by when Tammy notices things aren't going their way. They explode. They go into a tantrum. And what they're doing is diffusing things, taking the attention away from the situation that's being discussed and getting irritated in order to avoid talking about it. Tammy Tantrum comes up with lines like, this is unacceptable. I don't know how we arrived at this position. This is impossible. We're not moving forward on this, no matter what you say. There's Parker Pompous. Parker Pompous knows everything, been around for a long time, talks down to the staff, doesn't listen. So Parker Pompous is going to say things like, well, what my, try my team is trying to do is, and inevitably the team's not actually trying to do that at all. And meanwhile, Parker goes on explaining uh, things the way he sees them, and it's completely disconnected from others. Sammy sociopath always sounds like your best friend, always looking after your interests. Meanwhile, behind your back, they're playing politics, and they're finding ways to usurp your authority. Uh, they can switch uh, between whatever mood and every uh, whatever attitude is required um, for the situation. What you know is that they are conspiring in spite of what they say. Sammy Sociopath says, oh, that's a fantastic idea. I think we should go ahead with that. A day or two later, you find that something completely different has been done. Charlie Cutting Edge is on top of things. Uh, very smart. Um, knows exactly what to do. Um, but is overbearing in their smartness. Um, one of their hallmarks is not being able to listen to you. They're two steps ahead of you. Charlie Cutting Edge might say things like, oh yeah, we've already done that. Uh, nope, that's, uh, no, we've looked after that. That's, uh, that's going to get done, so don't worry about that for now. And leaves you um, stranded. Devin Dull spends a lot of time studying the situation. After all, their technical expertise is what really matters here. Devin's problem is they don't know how to listen, nor do they know how to take directions. Devin often says things like, well, if we look at the study, it told us X, Y, and Z, and therefore I conclude that, and nothing changes. There's Wesley Wingett. Wesley tends to not spend a lot of time doing homework, doesn't really think through the issues, knows that when they get in the meeting, they can handle things, and they don't. Wesley gets into a jam and changes the subject. I had a great game of golf on the weekend. I, you know, I remember on the seventh tee, blah, 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 and it goes on about something that's completely irrelevant and gets to disrupt the meeting. With monkey free meetings, you're going to be saying to yourself, I'm not going to be surprised by these people. I'm not going to be taken aback by their behavior. I'm going to be able to be prepared ahead of time and I'm going to be able to deal with every situation that comes up when they're causing problems.